Hey there, Amanda here with Clive Coffee. Today we'll be walking you through setting up your new Rancilio Silvia single boiler espresso machine. Let's get started. Once you have your machine on your counter, inspect it for damage. If you notice anything, please contact us right away. Do not discard the box and internal packing materials. You will need this in the event you ever have to ship the machine in the future. The water you run through your machine will not only affect the taste of your espresso, but will have a significant impact on the health and longevity of your machine. Our tech department often sees machines come in for repair with issues that could have easily been avoided by simply paying attention to your water. With that being said, before you introduce any water into your reservoir, it's important to test it to ensure it's within a safe range for your machine. Use the included water test strip to verify the softness of your water. Ideally, you want a hardness around 50 parts per million. For more information on water, take a look at clivecoffee.com water or click the link in this video's description. At this point, you're ready to add water to the reservoir. Verify that the intake lines sit at the bottom of the tank and add your filtered and softened water. Now to fill the boiler. You need the machine on for this, so turn on the power switch. Grab a pitcher or cup and open up the steam wand and press the hot water button. You will hear the pump engage right away. The boiler is full once a steady stream of water is coming through the steam wand. Now, stop the pump by pressing the hot water button again. After the boiler has filled, you'll also need to pull water through your group head. Press the shot button to activate the pump. Once at least four ounces of water has run through the group head, push the shot button again to stop the water flow and insert your portafilter. At this point, you'll have used most of the water in your reservoir. We'd recommend filling your reservoir now to avoid running out of water. Once the orange indicator light has shut off, you're ready to start pulling shots. With freshly ground coffee in your portafilter, lock it into the group head and push the shot button to begin your shot. When you reach your desired yield or output, press the same button to stop your shot. Getting used to new equipment can take a bit of trial and error. Our dedicated team of experts is happy to offer any tips if your espresso is less than perfect. When you're ready to steam your milk, press the steam switch. You'll have to purge some of the water from the boiler to make room for steam. Rotate the steam knob to purge the wand for five seconds. Then turn it off and wait about a minute until the heat indicator light has once again shut off. Purge the steam wand for another five seconds. Once you see a healthy amount of steam coming through the steam tip, you're ready to begin steaming. When finished, press the steam button again to return to brewing mode. Do not leave the Sylvia in its steam mode for longer than a few minutes, as this may cause damage to the heating element. And that's it! Now it's just a matter of finding your new favorite coffee to try. Reach out if you have any questions, and for more coffee know-how, visit us at clivecoffee.com.